Are you ever scrolling on Instagram and you just come across countless photos that just look epic and you're like, dude, how do I make my photos look like that? Whether it's the color or the contrast or whatever it is that makes that photo great. Today, I thought I would show you how I edit my photos for Instagram on Lightroom. Let's go. What's going on guys, my name's Gab. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Instagram and if you're a photographer like me, you probably spend countless hours on Instagram just scrolling, looking for locations, inspiration for shoots. So today I thought I would show you how I edit my photos specifically for Instagram on Lightroom. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is the first photo we're gonna edit together today. It's actually one of my favorite shots taken in Saudi Arabia. Um, this was an awesome shoot. It was one of those times where we rocked up to the location, had no idea what it looked like. We had no idea that this place actually even existed. So I was feeling super inspired, thought this was a pretty epic shot, pretty unique. So let's edit this one for Instagram. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do in Lightroom is crop for Instagram. So the aspect ratio, if you wanna upload portrait images is four by five. So let's select four by five center this image. I want the focal point to be the structure and obviously the subject. So we're going to center that in our frame. Happy with that. The first thing I like to do is I like to check my exposure. I want the, the image to be properly exposed. This image here looks pretty properly exposed. We've got detail in the shadows and the highlights. So I'm just going to add a slight S curve, which I like to do to all my landscape photos, bring those shadows up, crunch the mid tone slightly, and then add a little bit of pop back into the highlights. Next thing I want to do to draw the viewer's attention back towards that subject is I want to use a graduated filter to darken the background and also the foreground to make that structure really stand out and get all that detail. So what I'm going to do is get a graduated filter and I'm going to draw it just along the horizon line here so that it affects everything above that line. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag down the exposure. I'm going to bring a little bit of dehaze into it just so that we're getting that detail back into the sky in those nice blue colors. And then obviously, as you can see, it's affected the tomb and the architecture and the structure there. It's darkened that a lot, which we don't want. We want to preserve that detail. So we're going to go into the brush tab and we're going to go erase. And then we're just going to lightly paint over that foreground structure to bring back that detail so that we're not affecting that too much and we can play around with that later. So next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to actually play with my color slider. So if we go down here, I want to maybe even darken that background a little bit more. So I can do that by going into the blues and then dragging the luminance down, which is going to darken everything that's blue. So as you can see, dragging this down here, the sky is getting a little bit darker in the background. I like that. That's pretty moody. We're getting even a little bit of cloud detail down here in the back. I want to make the blues a little bit more aqua. So I'm going to drag this hue slider back down towards the aqua tones. Make that a little more greeny. Oh, maybe too much there. That's about right. And then just drag down that saturation so it's a little more subtle. We don't want it to be too in your face because we want that focal point to be that structure in the middle. To bring out these earthy, sandy, warm tones even more, I'm going to go into my yellow slider. I want to bring the hue down to make them a little more orangey a little less greeny. And then I want to bump up the luminance to bring back some detail, some pop, and then bump up the saturation. And then I'm going to go back into the orange tab, bump up some more saturation there, and really make those orange tones pop out a little bit more. All right, this is already looking pretty good. It's nearly done. The last thing that I want to do is I want to actually use the brush tool, which is probably my most used tool. And I just want to paint over that structure with a little bit of exposure. I want to bring up the highlights, bring down the shadows, and just add a bit of crunch to really bring out that detail in all the architecture there. And just really exaggerate that tomb as the focal point of the image. So let's make all the adjustments there. I'll show you here with the mask overlay where I'm actually painting over. So I want this sort of middle section that's highlighted to be exaggerated even more. So I'm going to paint over that with my brush tool, have a nice feather on it so it's not too harsh. That's pretty good there. We've got that all pretty much in. So if I remove this, you'll be able to see what it's done. I just want to bring down maybe even the blacks and the shadows a little bit more just to get a bit more contrast on the side there. Right, this image is pretty much done. All that's left to do is to take this into Photoshop, get rid of that little yellow thing over there, and we're pretty much good to go. 
Alright, so as you can see, this is the final edit. Um, nothing too drastic, very subtle changes. We've just brought a lot more vibrance and a lot more color back into the image. And we've also sort of drawn the viewer's eye back towards that main focal point of the image. Um, just by adding a few adjustments with graduated filters and playing around with the brush tool a little bit. Heading into a different color palette here. This shot was taken in Bali in the rice fields. I love this location. I think it's so sick, especially in the morning. This was shot at around probably 6 to 7 a.m. in the morning. The sun's just sort of peeking over the horizon and coming through the back of that palm tree and sort of illuminating all the rice fields, giving us those nice long shadows. Um, I've got my girlfriend there in the center of the image wearing a nice yellow dress to sort of pop and stand out and add a little sense of scale to this sort of vast depth of the rice field. So let's hop in, start editing this. You already know what we're gonna do. Crop for Instagram, four by five. First thing I'm gonna wanna do is I wanna bring up the shadows and the mid-tones slightly. Then what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna bring back a little bit of detail in that sky. So I think instead of using a graduated filter, I'm just gonna bring down the luminance in the blues like that. Maybe a little bit less because we don't want that peeking around the bushes. Bring down the hue slightly and maybe bump in a bit of saturation. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. I might add a little bit of contrast to this image just because I think it's looking a little bit flat at the moment. So I'm just going to drag the contrast slider up slightly. Okay, so I think instead of using a graduated filter on this image, what I want to do is use the brush tool and I actually want to exaggerate those light rays that are sort of beaming down onto the rice field. So to do that, I'm going to get my brush tool. I'm going to shrink my brush down a little bit. It's got a nice feather on it. Get rid of that clarity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a bit of exposure and also a little bit of warmth to sort of replicate those warm light rays that the sun's giving off. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to drag it down and follow the light rays from the sun back down into the bottom of the image. All right, so you can see there that I've literally just sort of copied where the light rays are, I painted over that, and it's really exaggerated that light and brought it out a lot more and sort of helped to crunch those shadows and bring out, it's almost like a spotlight is on the subject of this image right here. I'm quite happy with how this is looking. The last thing that I want to do is I actually want to add a radial filter over the subject here to illuminate that a little bit more and make that stand out. So let's get that radial filter just here and make that yellow dress pop. So what we're going to do is just bring that exposure up. Good to go. I'm pretty happy with that image side by side. Not too drastic of a change, but we just brought a little bit more warmth back into the image. We sort of exaggerated those light rays beaming down and we sort of brought out the subject a little bit more to make them pop and stand out um, in the center of the image. So I'm happy with this one. Another one ready for the grid. On to the next one. Last little bonus image for us today. This shot here was shot in Doha a few months ago. All right, so first thing off the bat, I noticed there's a little bit of curvature in this image and in the lines sort of at the top of that building right there. So I think that was because this was shot in the 24 mil. So there's a slight curvature in the image there. So one really easy way to fix that is to go down to this distortion slider right here and then just drag that left or right, depending on sort of where it's curved. And you can see now that top line there is a lot straighter as well as all the other lines below it. All right, I kind of want to make this edit a little bit more moody than some of the other images that we've done today. So I might actually just drop a preset straight onto this and see what that does. I kind of want this image to be perfectly mirrored. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to have to drag this filter over the top here. Then let's just bump that exposure right down, see what that does. All right, that's actually quite moody. I'm not, I'm not mad about that at all. I might just actually paint a little bit more exposure over the bottom half of that image there. Add a little bit more blue, I think. Bump up that saturation slightly. Let's go into the oranges. And I want to sort of affect the color of her dress. It's a little bit too pinky for my liking at the moment. Oh wow, the yellow. Let's do that. Let's do the yellow. I like yellow for her dress. We're changing it up. Bump the luminance of that. Okay, sick. I'm actually very happy with this. This was a very random edit and I had no idea how this was gonna turn out. So side by side comparison, we fixed the curvature in the lines, we straightened it, we added a lot of mood to it, we brought down the shadows, brought down those highlights, we made the focal point that 
middle sort of bar of the reflection where it's more exposed and it looks like a, a perfect mirrored image. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. I surprised myself on this one. And that's that. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did use any of these techniques in your own Instagram edits, let me know down in the comments. Like this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.